Ever seen a snake's head keep moving long after it's been separated from its body? Or heard about Mike, the headless chicken, who managed to live for a whopping 18 months without his head? And what about cockroaches that can live for weeks without their heads, breathing just fine? There's even a fish out there that lives without water, and if it's dead, it can be revived by pouring water on it. Nature is filled with astonishing survivors that defy our understanding of life and death. In this amazing episode of Forever Green, we will show you the most remarkable animals that not only challenge death in the most incredible ways, but also possess the magical ability to revive themselves from the brink of extinction. And just when you thought you'd seen it all, wait until we reveal an animal that can regenerate its entire body from a single tissue and our number one pick because it's the only immortal creature on our planet that never dies. So get ready, hit the subscribe button, and let's dive in. Pico fish. Imagine a place so dry you think no life could survive. Now dive deeper with us as we uncover the story of an extraordinary fish that defies the very limits of life and death. Meet the pico fish, a tiny but mighty survivor of the desert. Unlike any fish you've seen, this little hero makes its home in the parched lands, waiting patiently for rain to return. It lives in places that are really dry and can come back to life after being dried out. How does it do that? When the rain disappears and the land dries up, the pico fish does something remarkable. It digs down into the mud and secretes a unique substance from its body. This substance hardens around the fish, forming a protective cocoon that locks in moisture and keeps the fish alive in a dormant state. Inside this cocoon, the pico fish slows down all its bodily functions to an almost standstill, conserving energy and resources until water becomes available again. This cover lets it sleep without water for up to four years. Yes, four years! What's truly fascinating is that during this time, the pico fish can withstand temperatures and humidity levels that would be fatal to other fish. When water finally reaches the fish and seeps into the cocoon, it dissolves, allowing the pico fish to rehydrate and resume its normal life activities, as if waking from a long sleep. You can see this amazing moment in this video. Snakes Believe it or not, the danger of a snake lurks even after death, a chilling reminder that appearances can be deceiving. You might already think snakes are scary because of their bite, but here's something that might surprise you. Even after a snake is dead, they can still bite you. Yes, that's right. So if you've ever seen a snake that looks dead, don't touch it. Why does this happen? Even after a snake's head is cut off, it can still move and try to bite for a little while. This is because its body can still react to things around it, like if something touches it. It's a defense mechanism that serves the snake well during its life, allowing it to react quickly to threats. But it's this very mechanism that can turn a seemingly dead snake into a danger. Moreover, the venom in a snake's glands can remain potent for a significant time after death, meaning that a bite from a dead snake can still deliver a dangerous dose of venom. There's a video here that shows someone almost getting bitten by a snake's head that isn't even alive anymore. It's a good reminder to be careful around snakes, whether they look dead or alive. Snakes showing they can still be dangerous, even after you think they're gone, is one of those things about nature that really makes you say, wow. The Arctic Woolly Bear Moth the Arctic woolly bear moth, or Gynophora groenlandisa, has larvae that exhibits an almost unbelievable survival strategy. These caterpillars live in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, where the growing season is incredibly short. To cope, the larvae freeze solid during the long, cold winters, only to thaw and resume their activity in the brief Arctic summer. This freeze-thaw cycle can repeat up for 14 years until they've gathered enough energy to pupate into moss. This ability to freeze without damage is due to special proteins in their bodies that prevent ice crystals from forming in a way that would be lethal to most other organisms. Ocean Quahog In the cold, dark depths of the ocean, where time seems to stand still, lives the Ocean Quahog, a clam with a lifespan that defies human understanding. 
These bivalves are the Methuselahs of the sea, with one individual affectionately known as Ming, estimated to be over 500 years old. The ocean's quahog's ability to live for centuries is not just a curiosity, it's a window into the past, offering clues about the ocean's history and the secrets to longevity. What makes the ocean quahog's extended lifespan even more remarkable is the simplicity of its existence. Buried in the ocean floor, it filters water for food, silently witnessing the passage of centuries. Its shell, a chronicle of ages, grows incrementally each year, marking time with the procession of a natural historian. And if we are talking about 507-year-old Ming, you must watch Forever Green's video on animals that live the longest. Now, on to the next animal. Chickens. Have you ever heard the saying, running around like a headless chicken? Well, it turns out there's some truth to it. Chickens can actually keep moving after their heads are gone, thanks to the nerve reflexes in their body. The most famous case is Mike, the headless chicken, who lived for 18 months without his head. Mike managed to stick around for so long because of a part of his brain stem, which controls basic functions like breathing and heartbeat, it was still intact. It's a bizarre but true story that shows just how resilient life can be, even in the most unexpected circumstances. The reason lies in the structure of their nervous system. Chickens, like many other birds, have a central nervous system that can operate reflex actions without the direct involvement of the brain. When a chicken's head is removed, the spinal cord, which remains intact, can still conduct reflexes. These reflex actions are automatic responses that do not require brain input to be executed. In the case of Mike the Headless Chicken, the reason he survived for 18 months without his head is because the cleaver missed the jugular vein, leaving one ear and most of the brain stem intact. Scorpion Imagine a creature so tough it can go without food for a whole year and can even survive being frozen solid. That's the scorpion for you, one of the desert's most incredible survivors. Scorpions have been around for millions of years and they've picked up a few survival tricks along the way. One of their most amazing skills is their ability to slow down their metabolism. This means they can live on just a tiny bit of food for months and months. When there's nothing to eat at all, they just pause and wait it out until they can find their next meal. But wait, there's more! Scorpions can also survive in super cold temperatures. If they get caught in a chilly spot, they can freeze and stay in a kind of sleep until it warms up again. Once the ice melts, they just wake up and crawl away as if nothing happened. It's like they have their own natural superpowers to beat hunger and cold. Frogs now, let's talk about frogs, but not just any frogs. Some frogs are so out of the ordinary that they can keep on living, even without their brains or heads. It sounds like something from a science fiction movie, but it's true. Usually, animals need their brains to do just about everything, moving, eating, and even breathing. But these frogs break all the rules. In some experiments and videos, scientists have shown that frogs without their heads can still react to being touched. They can even move around a bit. How is it possible? Well, frogs have a very simple way of controlling their bodies that doesn't always need the brain to tell them what to do. Their bodies can respond to changes in their environment all on their own. If you found these death-defying creatures as interesting as we did, don't forget to check out our video on animals with incredible superpowers at Forever Green. Now, let's get back to our video. Cockroaches Cockroaches are known for their incredible resilience and are often cited as the ultimate survivors, capable of living through conditions that would be fatal to most other organisms. One of the most astonishing facts about these creatures is their ability to live for weeks without their heads. This is possible because cockroaches breathe through openings in their body segments called spiracles, not through their mouths or noses like humans do. This means even without a head, a cockroach can still breathe. Additionally, cockroaches have a decentralized nervous system, which means that many of the reflex actions and movements are controlled by nerves ganglia located throughout their bodies, not just in the brain. Without the need for a centralized control center for basic survival functions, a headless cockroach can still react to its environment, move, and even mate. 
The reason they eventually die is not from their inability to breathe or move, but from the inability to drink water, leading to dehydration. Flies and Bees Flies and bees exhibit a similar, remarkable phenomenon where they can continue to move their wings or legs even after decapitation. This ability is rooted in the reflex actions controlled by their nervous system. In insects, many of the body's reflexes, including those that control the movement of wings and legs, are mediated by nerve centers located throughout their bodies. When a fly or bee is decapitated, the nerve centers in the body can still respond to external stimuli, leading to movements. This reflex action is particularly noticeable in flies, where the application of certain stimuli can cause a headless fly to start moving its wings, as if attempting to fly. Similarly, bees can exhibit leg movements after decapitation. Earthworms Earthworms are incredible creatures that call the soil beneath our feet home. What makes them truly remarkable, though, is their ability to regenerate lost segments of their bodies. If an earthworm is cut in half, the tail end has the potential to grow back, depending on the species and where the cut occurs. This regenerative power lies in their biology. Earthworms have a cluster of stem cells capable of differentiating into various cell types needed to reconstruct the lost parts. Beyond their regenerative capabilities, earthworms also exhibit an impressive reflex ability to move even after being cut. This is because their movement is controlled by a simple nervous system that runs along the length of their body, allowing each segment to react to environmental stimuli independently of the others. So if an earthworm is split in two, each part can continue to move on its own. Deloid rotifers. Deloid rotifers might be microscopic, but their survival capabilities are enormous. These tiny aquatic creatures have mastered the art of survival in extreme conditions through a process called anhydrobiosis. Anhydrobiosis, meaning life without water, allows deloid rotifers to dry out completely and enter a state of suspended animation when their water habitats dry up. In this desiccated state, rotifers can withstand not just drought, but extreme temperatures, freezing, and even high levels of radiation. What's truly astonishing is that once water becomes available again, deloid rotifers rehydrate and spring back to life, resuming their activities as if nothing happened. This remarkable resilience is thought to be a result of their unique cellular mechanisms that protect their DNA and vital proteins from damage during the dry state. Deloid rotifers have survived for millions of years without sexual reproduction. Tardigrades Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are microscopic creatures that have taken the art of survival to an extraordinary level. These tiny animals can withstand conditions that would be fatal to almost all other forms of life. They achieve this through their metabolism and dehydrate themselves, becoming almost indestructible. In this cryptobiotic state, tardigrades can survive temperatures ranging from just above absolute zero to above boiling. Pressure six times stronger than those found in the deepest ocean trenches, lethal doses of radiation, and even the vacuum of outer space. When conditions improve, tardigrades rehydrate and return to their normal state as if nothing had happened. This incredible resilience makes tardigrades one of the most fascinating subjects of study in the field of extremophile research, offering insights into the limits of life on Earth and even space. Brine Shrimp Brine shrimp, known to many as sea monkeys, possess an extraordinary survival mechanism. When conditions in their salty water habitats become inhospitable, they can produce cysts, which are capable of remaining dormant for years. Within these cysts, the brine shrimp embryos are in a state of suspended animation, completely protected from the outside world. Once the environment becomes favorable again, the cysts rehydrate and the brine shrimp hatch, ready to resume their life cycle. This remarkable ability to pause their development and wait out unfavorable conditions is a brilliant survival strategy that ensures the continuity of their species across generations. Newts, Axolotls, and Salamanders Newts, Axolotls, and Salamanders form an extraordinary group within the animal kingdom, 
Renowned for their unparalleled regenerative abilities, these amphibians share a unique biological gift that allows them to recover from injuries and losses that would be irreversible for most other species, including humans. They can regenerate limbs, tails, eyes, parts of their hearts and brains, and even spinal cords, showcasing a level of biological resilience that has fascinated scientists for centuries. Unlike other animals that might heal wounds or regrow limited amounts of tissue, newts, axolotls, and salamanders can replace entire complex structures. This capability hints at an ancient evolutionary pathway that while diminished or lost in many lineages, remains active and robust in these species. By unlocking the secrets of newts, axolotls, and salamanders, scientists aspire to develop methods to stimulate similar regenerative processes in humans. Planarians and Hydra Planarians and Hydra represent two of nature's most extraordinary examples of complete regeneration from small pieces, a process that defies the conventional limits of biological recovery. These organisms possess the astonishing ability to reconstruct their entire bodies from mere fragments, showcasing a level of regenerative capability that has long captivated scientists. Planarians, the seemingly simple flatworm, have long been the subject of study due to their ability to regenerate any missing parts including their heads, complete with brains and eyes. This means a planarian split into multiple pieces doesn't die. Instead, each piece regenerates into a new, fully functional worm. Similarly, hydra, small freshwater organisms, display a comparable regenerative capacity. They can regenerate their entire bodies from a small piece of tissue thanks to their dynamic network of stem cells. These cells continuously divide and specialize to replace any lost or damaged parts enabling a hydra to reconstruct itself completely, even from severe fragmentation. Their ability to regenerate from small pieces not only challenges the limits of what we consider possible in the natural world, but also offers promising avenues for research in regenerative medicine and stem cell therapy. The Immortal Jellyfish In the vast and mysterious depths of the ocean, there exists a creature that has captured the human imagination like no other, the immortal jellyfish. This small, seemingly inconspicuous jellyfish harbors a marvelous secret, the ability to cheat death and effectively achieve biological immortality. This process, known as transdifferentiation, allows it to reset its life cycle in response to stress or aging potentially living indefinitely. During this process, its cells undergo a remarkable change, converting into different types of cells required to form a new polyp colony. This cycle can repeat indefinitely, rendering the jellyfish potentially immortal, as it can avoid death by senescence. This unique method of cheating death places the immortal jellyfish at the forefront of research into aging and regenerative medicine. Wolf eel. Deep beneath the waves, where the sun's rays struggle to penetrate, lurks a creature as mysterious as it is formidable, the wolf eel. Despite its name, the wolf eel is not a true eel, but a fish with a fearsome reputation, underscored by its powerful jaws and sinuous body. These creatures are known for their loyalty to their partners and their formidable defense against intruders. However, it is in death that the wolf eel reveals one of its most startling characteristics. Even after the wolf eel's heart stops beating, its head retains the ability to bite. This phenomenon is not driven by malice, but by reflex. The muscles in the wolf eel's jaw can contract in response to stimulation, snapping shut with surprising force. This post-mortem bite serves as a final deterrent to predators, a ghostly guardian of the wolf eel's remains. Octopuses and Squid Octopuses and squid are already pretty cool, with their ability to change color and squirt ink. But there's something else about them that's quite astonishing. If they lose an arm, that arm can keep on moving and even grab onto things all by itself. This happens because each limb has its own mini brain that can control movement without any help from the main brain. The autonomy of octopus and squid limbs adds an extra layer to their already impressive set of survival skills. These creatures not only have the ability to regrow their limbs, but the severed limbs retain remarkable capabilities. So if an octopus or squid loses an arm, the arm doesn't just give up. It keeps on moving and reacting to the world around it. And here's another thing. 
Dancing squid, sometimes called odori don, is a Japanese delicacy that showcases the fresh squid's reflexive movements. When soy sauce is poured over the prepared squid, it appears to dance on the plate. The sodium in the soy sauce triggers the squid's muscles contractions, creating movement. This phenomenon is due to the same principles that the muscle cells can be activated without direct signals from the brain. And that wraps up today's journey with Forever Green. We'll see you in the next one, where the wonders never cease.